Hello once again, dear viewers, to another episode of the Sang Quiz 2019 brought to you by Doot Darshan Kendra Shalom in collaboration with the Mikhalia AIDS Control Society. Hello and welcome once again dear viewers to the Sang Quiz 2019 brought to you by Doordarshan Kendra Shillong in collaboration with the Meghalaya AIDS Control Society. Today is the second semi-final episode. As we saw the other day, St. Edmund's School moved on to the finals. So today, again three teams are here. Let's see which is going to be the lucky team which is deserving to move on to the next round. So let's meet our three teams. Starting it off with Team A. My name is Anupam Paul and I am from Labam Bengali Boys High Secondary School. My name is Kunal Das and I am from Labam Bengali Boys High Secondary School. Team A, Laban Bengali Boys, all the very best to you. Moving on now, Team B. My name is Lisa Ritta and I am from Lady King Girls High Secondary School. My name is Anvesha Lod and I am from Lady King Girls High Secondary School. Team B, Lady King Girls High Secondary School, all the very best to you. Last but not the least, Team C. I'm Nigel Rickfield Kurba and I'm representing the school Meghalaya Police Public School. My name is Milam Bansan Marbanya. I'm representing Meghalaya Police Public School. Team C, Meghalaya Police Public School, all the best to you and I wish all the best to all the three teams. So let's begin with our quiz today, starting it off with the first round which is around on HIV AIDS awareness. Okay? Before we begin, let me explain to you the rules. Each team will be asked two questions. Questions will pass during this round. 10 points for correctly answering a direct question and 5 points for correctly answering a past question. 10 seconds to answer a direct question and 5 seconds to answer a past question. There will be no negative marks in this round. So you can guess an answer, okay? Are the rules clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's begin the first question in today's quiz for Team A, Laban Bengali Boys. Listen carefully. You must give me the specific answer, okay? No beating around the bush. How can HIV make a person ill? How can HIV make a person ill? By making his uh, immunity system weak. Fantastic answer. Team 8, 20 points. That is the correct answer. Moving on now, this is a direct question for Team B, Lady Keen School. Listen carefully. What is the main mode of transmission of HIV worldwide? The main mode of transmission of HIV worldwide. Very easy question. Give me a specific answer, okay? So, by uh, unprotected sex. Can you be more specific? Uh, so... I can't give you that much of time. So... It passes on to team C. Sex without using any protection. Mm, that's also not the answer that I'm looking for. It's too generic in fact. Team A. Sexual intercourse. Like I asked team B, can you be specific? So none of the teams could score here. A very easy question. I asked you what is the main mode of transmission of HIV worldwide. It is unprotected heterosexual sex. Okay? So heterosexual. That was the word you must have you should have used that word in order to make it specific. So no points there, team B, Lady Keen. Moving on, this is a direct question for team C. MPPS. Listen carefully. For which disease did the Union Government on 11th of June 2015 scrap custom duties for the import of drugs and test kits? For which disease did the Union Government in 2015 scrap the custom duties for the import of drugs and test kits? There are no more custom duties to bring in drugs and test kits to treat this particular disease. HIV or AIDS? AIDS, of course, that is the correct answer. 20 points, Team C. Moving on, now this is again a direct question for Team A. It's a true and false question. <coughs> if you say true also, I need an explanation. If you say false also, I need an explanation, okay? 
एच आई वी कैन बी ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम मदर टू चाइल्ड वी आर ब्रेस्ट मिल्क ट्रू ऑफ ऑल्स ट्रू वाई बिकॉज द वायरस इज इन इज इन द मदर्स मिल्क एंड इट गेट्स ट्रांसमिटेड वेन द चाइल्ड ड्रिंक्स इट दैट इज योर एक्सप्लेनेशन सो लेट्स होल्ड ऑन फॉर होल्ड दैट थॉट मूव ऑन टू टीम बी so because uh, um, hiv aids uh, is spread through all types of fluids yes that's the correct answer that i'm looking for so this question is a bit tricky so what i'll do is i'll distribute the points so i'll give 5 points to team b and i'll also give 5 points to team a okay all right so this is a direct question now for team b lady team okay are you ready what does a standard hiv test identify What does a standard HIV test identify? Remember, no negative points. So can you repeat the question? What does a standard HIV test identify? So the virus. Of course, it is the virus. So twenty points to team B. Moving on. Now this is a direct question for team C. MPPS. Listen carefully. It's a true and false question again. <clears throat> I don't need you to give me an explanation here. Just simple true or false, okay? Many people with STIs, STIs, sexually transmitted infections including HIV do not have symptoms. True or false? Many people with sexually transmitted infections including HIV do not have symptoms. True false. or false? False. False. 20 points to team C MPPS that is the correct answer because let me just give you some of the symptoms many people with STIs including HIV yes they do develop symptoms symptoms can include lower abdominal pain fever rash over the trunk hands or feet etc okay so it's the correct answer team C so with that we're done with our first round which is around on HIV AIDS awareness So let's move on now to our second round which is a very interesting round that is the audio visual round. So before we begin let me explain to you the rules. Each team will be asked one audio visual question. Questions will pass during this round. 10 seconds to answer a direct question, 5 seconds to answer a passed question. 20 points for correctly answering a direct and 10 points for correctly answering a pass. Minus 5 points for an incorrect answer. So like I always say be careful in this round, okay? So let's begin. The first question is for Team A, Laban Bengali boys. It's a picture. So have a look at the picture, and I'll ask you your question. All right. This is a seaport located in southeastern Iran. That is this. Okay. On the Gulf of Oman, it serves as Iran's only oceanic port. In December of last year, so it's current affairs. India took over the port's operation. This port will help to reduce 60% of shipment costs and 50% reduction in shipment time from India to Central Asia. So they will bypass Pakistan. So they'll move from Iran to go to Afghanistan. So the question is simple. I want you to give me the name of this port. This has been in the news, a very very current affairs. You know, I want you to give me the name of the port. If you've read the news, I think you will give me the right answer. Time's up, Team A. So moves on now to Team B, Lady Keen. So pass. Passing it. So Team C. Pass. You're passing it. Okay. So teams, how could you have missed this question's answer? Okay, this is very easy. This is the Chabahar port. The Chabahar port in Iran. All right. It has been in the news over and over again. So no points there, Team A. Moving on. Team B Lady Keen this is i would say the most interesting question of today's quiz it's a picture okay have a look at the picture and i'll ask you your question okay so this painting okay this painting is called the portrait of edmond de bellamy it was created in 2018 and it smashed expectations at christie's new york in october of 2018 When it was sold for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars after a lively bidding, 
that lasted for more than six minutes. Usually when you see paintings, the artists, they sign at the bottom, their signature, right? But here, if you look carefully at the bottom, you will see that instead of a signature, it's an algebraic formula. It's an algebraic formula. Give me the reason. Why is this painting so special? And why did the artist sign using an algebraic formula? Use your brains. Come on. Time's up. Team B moves on now to Team C. Pass. Pass. You're passing it. So moves on <coughs> to Team A. Come on. Use your brains. Team B. Like I said, you should have used your logic. They signed in algebra. In mathematics. Why? Because this is the first artificial intelligence painting. This is the first painting developed through artificial intelligence. No human hands, no human mind was involved. That's why they signed it using mathematical expressions. Such an easy, if you just used your logic, I think you would have been able to give me the answer. Team B. Moving on, this is a direct question for Team C. MPPS. Part of the Chandrayaan 2 mission, this rover will detach was supposed to detach, in fact, from the lander and move across the surface of the moon. I want you to give me the name of the rover. Give me the name of the rover. I think you should be able to give me the name. Team C, how could you have missed this question? The answer, Team A. Vikram. 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 No, that's not the answer. Team B. Pragyan. Pragyan, yes, that is the correct answer. 10 points to Team B, Lady Keen. The name of the lander is Vikram, but the name of the orbiter, I'm sorry, the name of the rover that's supposed to come out or detach from Vikram, it's known as Pragyan. Okay? So no points there to Team A or Team C, but yes, points to Team B. Fantastic answer. Alright, so we're done with two rounds. So let me give you the score tally as it is presently. Team A, Laban Bengali Boys is with 25 points. Team B, Lady Keen is with 35 points. And Team C, MPPS is with 40 points. So as you can see, it's a very, very, very close race. So two more rounds to go. So may the best team win, okay? All the best. So let's begin now with our third round. A very entertaining round and that is around on dumb charades okay before we begin let me explain to you the rules each team will be given one word or phrase to enact during this round one team member will have to enact the word or phrase and the other teammate must correctly guess the word or phrase in question the teammate enacting the word or phrase must use only their body language they are not allowed in any circumstance to use their voices or their lip movements okay 60 seconds to answer a question 30 points for a correct answer, no negative marks and questions will not pass during this round. So are the rules clear? Yes. Alright, so let's begin now with round 3. So I invite someone from team A, Laban Bengali boys, please come forward. Pick up a chit and show it to me. Please turn the other way. Turn the other way, okay. Just, just nod your head, nod your head, if you understand. Like I said, it's an idiom. Okay, nod your head. So, Team A, are you ready? 60 seconds, your time starts now. Tongue. Taste. You. Me. I. Us. With. There. Them. Me. Together. Taste, drink, tablet, medicine, you, me, I, us, with, 
हाय टाइम्स अप टीम ए यू गॉट टू वर्ड्स करेक्ट द ईडीएम इज टेस्ट ऑफ योर ओन मेडिसिन टेस्ट ऑफ योर ओन मेडिसिन टीम ए अनफॉर्चुनेटली नो पॉइंट्स देयर मूविंग ऑन नाउ दिस इज अ चांस फॉर टीम बी लेडी कीन आर यू रेडी समवन प्लीज कम फॉरवर्ड just show me the chat turn the other way please it's an idiom okay just not do, don't don't say anything you understand okay team b are you ready 60 seconds your time starts now guessing keep on guessing no negative points tick out back times up times up i think it's a very easy idiom you guess the cat portion right the right answer is let the cat out of the bag let the cat out of the bag that's the idiom okay so no points to team b as well so team c this is a chance for you to obtain 30 points are you ready yes sir So oh, please come forward. Turn the other way, please. You understand? That's the idiom. So, Team C M P P S, are you ready? Your time starts now. Six. Second one. Two. Speaking. Please don't use your lips. Too many. Fly. Fly. Chirping. Chirp. Chirping. Flying. Keep on so guessing. No negative points. It's okay. Keep on guessing. Penguin. Penguin. In. Times up, team C. Very easy idiom. You got the two part correct. Kill two birds with one stone. He was showing you the action of a bird. Kill two birds with one stone. Very easy idiom. No points there, team C. Unfortunately. So we're done with uh third round Damshrat's round it seems none of the teams could score any points there So let's begin now with our fourth and final round which is going to be the deciding round which team is going to go on ahead to the finals and that is the rapid fire round okay So before we begin let me explain to you the rules each team will be asked a series of questions Each team will be given 50 seconds to answer all the questions. 10 points for a correct answer, minus five points for an incorrect answer. If a team does not know an answer, say pass, and I'll move on to the next question and shall come back to the past question if there's sufficient time left. Are the rules clear? Yes, all right, Team A, are you ready for your series of questions? Okay. So 50 seconds. Your time starts now. What was the code name for the first nuclear test conducted by India in 1974 in Pokhran, Rajasthan? Pass. The phrase "God's own country" is used to refer to which state? Pass. The national calendar, which is based on the Sakha era, begins with which month? Pass. Who is known as the father of Indian Green Revolution? Pass. 
In which place was Satyagraha first started by Gandhi ji in India? Which country's national capital was recently renamed as Nur Sultan? What was the code name for the first nuclear test conducted by India? The phrase God's own country is used to refer to which state? The national calendar based on Saka era begins with which month? Time's up. Time's up, Team A. Let me give you the answers. What was the code name for the first nuclear test conducted by India in 1974 in Pokhran, Rajasthan? Smiling Buddha. Okay, that's the name of the operation. Smiling Buddha. The phrase God's own country is used to refer to which state? Very, very easy question. I think you've seen this in the television as well. It's Kerala. Okay. The national calendar, which is based on the Saka era, begins with which one? With which month? Chaitra. The month of Chaitra. Okay. Who is known as the father of Indian Green Revolution? Do you know the answer? M.S. Swaminathan. It's him. Okay. M.S. Swaminathan. In which place was Chatyagraha first started by Gandhiji in India? Again, it relates to current affairs given that it's Gandhiji's 150th birth anniversary. And that is Champaran. In India, okay, it's Champaran. And which country's national capital was recently renamed as Nur Sultan? If you follow the news, you'll get the answer. It's Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan's capital has been renamed as Nur Sultan. Moving on now to Team B, Lady Keen. Are you ready? 50 seconds. Your time starts now. Sound becomes noise pollution at what decibel level? Adams Bridge is located between which two countries? India and which country? Total number of classical dances of India recognized by the Sangeet Natak Academy. How many? Which is the oldest continuously inhabited city in the world? The oldest continuously inhabited city in the world. Pass. Industrial revolution began in which country? Pass. White color of milk is due to the presence of what? Cashew. That is incorrect. Minus points. Sound becomes noise pollution at what decibel level? Pass. Time's up. Let me give you the answers. Sound becomes noise pollution at what decibel level? 80. 80 decibel level. Okay. Adam's Bridge. Very easy question. I think you'll know it. Haven't you heard of Ram Setu? Adam's Bridge, India and Sri Lanka. Okay. Total number of classical dances of India recognized by the Sangeet Natak Academy. Eight. There are eight classical dances of India. Which is the oldest continuously inhabited city in the world? It's Damascus. Damascus. Okay. Again, this very easy question. Industrial revolution began in which country? Russia. Russia? No. Germany. Germany? No. USA. USA? No. The right answer is England. In the United Kingdom, England. Okay, that's where the industrial revolution began. <laughs> and white color of milk is due to the presence of what? It's not calcium. It's casseins. Casseins make milk white. Okay? So, no points there, team B, unfortunately. Moving on, a direct series of questions for team C. Meghalaya Police Public School. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir. 50 seconds. Your time starts now. When the ants bite, they inject what acid? Pass. On which riverbank is Panaji located, the capital of Goa? On which riverbank? Mandubi. That is correct. Which city in India is known as the city of temples? Pass. pass. Who discovered HIV? Pass, pass. Which is the highest gallantry award during peacetime? Pass. Which country has the longest borderline with India? Pass. pass. When ants bite, they inject what acid? Pass. pass. On which which city in India is known as the city of temples? Pass. Who discovered HIV? Pass. pass. Which is the highest gallantry award during peacetime? Pass. Which country has the longest borderline with India? Pass. Time's up. So let me give you the answers. 
when ant bites they in when ants bite they inject what acid formic acid okay formic acid on which river bank is panaji located yes it's mandovi river which city in india is known as, is known as the city of temples is bhubaneswar bhubaneswar in odisha okay so who discovered hiv very easy question we had an around on hiv it's this is luke montagnia okay he was the one who discovered hiv which is the highest gallantry award during peace time i'm asking about during peace time it's ashoka chakra okay and which country has the longest border line with india can you guess china naturally you think it's china but no it's actually bangladesh okay bangladesh has the longest border line with india so teams we're done with all the four rounds of today's quiz again i have with me here the final score tally and it's evident which team is going to move forward to the finals okay let me begin in third place we have the team a from laban bengali boys with 25 points in second place we have team b lady keen with 30 points and team c that is team from mpps is with 50 points and therefore they're moving on to the finals so dear viewers we've come to the end of yet another episode of the sain panyar quiz until we meet again next time for the next semi final episode this is your quiz master signing off thank you